Okay, really quick, I'm going to show you how to get MC Browser in your, uh, on Windows 7. As you can see, I'm running Windows 7, obviously. Look at the toolbar, the background, the way everything's set up. Okay, what you want to do is download this file right here, set it up. That'll take you, like, 10 seconds. It's not very hard either. And then, this is the part where... It runs like, well, it runs like, oh my god, I don't have an online media thing. I don't have it, because Windows Vista and Windows XP has that. What you want to do is go into your settings, go down to start menu and extras, go down to extras library, and then go over here to MCE browser, turn that on, turn on whatever else you want on in here, press save, and then uh, go back and go into your extras. Holy crap, you have it. But that's just the first part, and I also have a video that I will upload with the actual part on how to do it on your Xbox. Well, set it up on your Xbox. Um, I do suggest that you go into this and basically uh, go into Home and search for whatever you want. Like, say you want MySpace.com which I already have it on here but you have to press web search press my space and then add to favorites and then after you add it to your favorites it will be like right here and um you can enter URLs I just don't know how cause on, this ain't meant for Windows 7, and as you can see, it just has like, give me a second, the little X, and I don't know why this is, I, I'm, well, I do, but I'm not quite sure, it's because you're running a program on Windows 7 that's not actually for Windows 7, but that's pretty much how you do it, and watch the second video, and then... I'm going to try to put Google Chrome into it, so if I ever do that, watch that video too.